What we're doing is we're showcasing some technology that ACO and TopCon are developing together to lead the way in autonomous vehicles into the ag world. What we're showing here is an example of technology. This is a LiDAR unit. And what this does is this sends out millions of points of light every second. And those points of lights then hit different objects, whether it's in the field or different vehicles that might be in the field, and come back to it. And it actually measures the time of flight, the time it takes for that light to go out and come back to it. And by that, it can create a full three-dimensional image of everything that surrounds the vehicle. So, for example, if you were operating a vehicle and all of a sudden a, another vehicle went in front of it, this would see that dynamically understand that the terrain has changed and that it's unsafe condition and it would automatically stop the vehicle. And so this will lead the way to a number of different things that will improve efficiency in the farm operations. Immediately you could see applications for this technology where maybe you put this on a chase vehicle and you had an operator in the cab and the harvester and the chase vehicle had this type of autonomous equipment on it such that it could come up, you could unload it, and then it would then automatically go back to the larger truck and unload itself, allowing one operator in the field to maintain a continuous harvesting operation and again improving their efficiency. What we're showcasing is our R&D efforts. So this is research equipment that we're developing in partnership with AGCO. The first step, so you'll start to see some of this technology come on the market is in the one to five year time frame. And for fully autonomous farm operations, you're looking more in the five to ten year period. Uh, we've been working on this with AECO for over the past year, and the technology behind this has been developed in the TopCon for over the past five years. We're a leader in, in GPS information, we're a leader in optics, and we're taking a lot of that technology that we're developing and now pushing it into the agricultural world.